What we seek to do here at Wild Goose is offer students the best and most meaningful day opportunities we can. There's always something to do, there's always something fun to do. And so they love sowing the seeds, they love planting up a bed. You've got an empty raised bed, that's their favourite thing. Some students love weeding, some students they love that the challenge of identifying the difference between a weed and a plant. At the end of the day they like to be able to turn around and see the physical difference in the environment that they've created. I think that coming here is really great for students because they do really develop as people. So, Wild Goose as a centre, we've really benefited from um, the funding that we've had previously um, in putting in QR codes that explain what we do around the site. Um, our students have found it beneficial and visitors to the site have found it interesting. We're hoping at our next open day that um, all the p folks that come al along can, uh, can zap a QR code and find out what we do here and what our students get up to with the animals and with wildlife and in the orchards. Um, but now things are going to change because um, Wild Goose has got to get bigger. We're bursting at the seams. Uh, we currently sit on 1.7 acres. Um, but we've just bought um, 40 acres consisting of 33 acres of wildlife and conservation area and six acres of pasture land um, that we're going to turn into a brand new care farm. We've got some great plans ahead um, including building walkways around the site um, with treetop uh, towers so that people can observe wetland habitats, woodland hab habitats reed beds, um, we're going to plant traditional orchards and have rare breed cattle along with everything else that we do here at Wild Goose. What we need to be able to do is raise funds to be able to interpret that and allow the public to access the information and knowledge and we think that actually technology can sit really nicely um, within that scheme. For example, a virtual reality experience. So if you come to our site in the winter you can still have a virtual reality experience of being there in the summer. Put on a headset and you can look at the vista um, as it would look at different seasons. And this is alive with wildlife. This is an old quarry site that has now been untouched for well over 20 years. And it's got some fabulous trees, plants, animals, amphibians, reptiles, birds. They're all living on this site and we want to give the public and our students the ability to be able to access that. Vote for Wild Goose. We're going to make a difference to people, wildlife and Worcestershire. Yeah!